can you share some of your personal or business failure stories and how it helped you uh, to shape your business and personal life? I fail all the time, but I don't call them failures. Failure is a word that is an incorrect word. It's challenges, because failure uh, just assumes some negativity, and I try never to be negative. I meet challenges every day. I've always believed in advertising and business. I am a big believer in advertising. Why? Because all advertising works. It's just that some is more competitive than others, more cost efficient than others. So um, uh, as a lawyer, I was advertising for years. I advertised before anyone advertised. As soon as they changed the law, I advertised. And that's how I got 1-800-LAW-LINE, and that's how I got lawline.com because I, um, I trademarked it back in the 70s. Well, someone came to me, they heard one of my commercials with a jingle. I'll never forget it. And I said, boy, I never thought of a jingle for an advertisement for a law firm. And I really liked it. I, I, I uh, had other people listen to it. They liked it. So, all right, so I, I like to try everything. I went with the jingle. I spent a fortune on it. I did a whole advertising campaign. And keep in mind, when a lawyer advertises on radio or television, it's a direct response. Well, as soon as the jingle started, I didn't get any response. The only response is, well, people didn't like the jingle, or people had a different idea for a jingle, or people didn't like the music. I said, well, let's try it for two weeks. I still didn't get any response. So, of course, I stopped it. I bit my tongue. And I moved on. And as soon as I started running my regular commercials, the phone started lighting up again. With that said, I have to tell you the Marlboro story. How when Marlboro cigarette first came out, it was more of a feminine cigarette. It was one of the first filter tips way back in time and uh, prehistoric age. Well, it came out. It was a successful feminine cigarette um, that was uh, to the market. And then someone came up with the idea to have the Marlboro Man. And they had a tattoo on the back of the palm. Well, they changed it and the running of the commercials. And this is what I was talking about, the jingle. And sales went down. And uh, sales then went into the basement. Yet, uh, Marlboro had the idea that we're going to stick with it. They stuck with it. And of course, the story is it became the number one cigarette in the world and probably still is. So it, advertising takes a long time. Had I, I still believe to this day, had I stayed with the jingle on a long-term basis, you'd be humming it today. But of course, I had to go back to work and I had to get back to cases, so I stopped it. But advertising takes a long time to educate a market. And uh, I've always believed that you pick one form of advertising, whether it's radio, television, print media, and you stick with it day in and day out over a long period of time and developing the market. Most people do not develop the markets.